Well, Baltimore County is taking one step forward to reduce classroom overcapacity in its schools. The county council just passed a bill limiting overcrowding while also making space for more affordable housing units. This follows months of back and forth debate between council members on this issue. WJZ remaining in your corner following this story. Tara Lynch live in Towson with the details on this latest bill. Tara. Well, Denise, in a vote along party lines last night, the Baltimore County Council did approve that, of course, limiting that overcrowding in schools across the county. Now, this did not come easily for the council. There was a lot of controversy and complexity around passing this bill, including a veto from County Executive Johnny Olszewski. It's really about reducing and preventing schools from being overcrowded. The one thing we need to do as a governing body in Baltimore County is we need to ensure that we can provide a quality education. The Baltimore County Council approved a bill to reduce classroom overcrowding in June, which included limiting new housing developments from being built in overcrowded districts. It was vetoed by the county executive, and then the council overrode that action, passing the original bill. A clarification bill was also passed Monday night, creating an exception. It says affordable housing units can be built in overcapacity districts, so the county stays in line with a federal agreement to build attainable housing units. In the past, we could allow 115 students in 100 seats in Baltimore County. That's just bad math. Also included in the bill is a committee to create additional recommendations to address overcrowding. The measure also eliminates an adjacency rule, which said students could be placed in neighboring districts if theirs was overcrowded. I'm pleased that the adjacency rule has been removed. It was the most problematic piece, but I think there's more to do in terms of finding solutions for overcrowded schools. And part of it is redistricting and part of it is new construction and renovations. In a statement on social media, County Executive Johnny Olszewski said he's grateful to the council for addressing some of his administration's concerns with the bill. During this process, the county executive said his administration has already opened seven new schools with two more on the way this year. We just need to keep that momentum up as we move forward. We have an obligation as Baltimore County government and Baltimore County school system to provide quality education irrespective of whether you are a child coming out of a market rate household or if you are a child student coming out of an affordable house. Chairman Patoka said that this is not only critical for families and students who are already in Baltimore County and already attend the school districts here, but also important for families who may move to the area moving forward. For now, reporting live in your corner in Towson, Tara Lynch, WJZ. All right, thank you, Tara. Well